Greetings and shalom, especially to my Hebrews, my true Israelites out there. Um, If you don't know who I'm talking about, uh, that is the so-called African-American Negro black person. Ooh, a pheasant. Um, Just out here in nature, doing my little nature walk. I uh, just wanted to, uh, I wanted to talk about something. I wanted to talk about being awakened and what I feel they, the spirit, the Ruach, Ruach HaKadesh to be exact, um, has been putting on my, on my spirit uh, to just share this little thing. It's going to be this little short video. It's just something I want to say, you know. Um, so hopefully it blesses you. As it has blessed me. Um, anyway, here we go. So, the awakening, or being awake, or woke, or, you know, just waking up in general. Um, I just want to say, you know, um, if you have been rudely awakened, it's probably because when somebody tried to politely uh, wake you up, you didn't open your eyes. Let, let that sink in just for a a couple of seconds um there's essentially two worlds okay we have the seen and the unseen lucifer was casted out of the unseen into the natural realm the seen world so he operates mainly in 3d if you didn't know that already um this is you know this is people places uh, you know, TV, media, um, the what I like to call the right now realm, where um, you know where you have the your five senses are all on alert, uh, taste, touch, see, feel, smell. Uh, this is that world that Satan was casted down into. So then we have Yahuwah, who operates in the unseen realm primarily. Okay. So he is an invisible God with physical attributes. So the scriptures say that this invisible God, Yahuwah, um, created the physical world to show or manifest his nature that is invisible. All kind of rodents out here and stuff. It's an interesting nature out here. Um, So here's my point. Trusting in things that you see is trusting in the world that Lucifer uh, primarily operates in. Uh, let me say that again. Trusting in, in this world, the things that you could taste, till, uh, feel, touch, see, smell. Trusting in that is trusting in Lucifer's world. Um, now, that means that you're in a sleep state. Okay, keep following me. Being awakened can come in two forms, like I mentioned before. The first being gently touched on your shoulder, you know, a slight whisper, hey, wake up. Uh, You know, it's time to go. Hey, you got five minutes. Um, You're still in a sleep state, but you're waking up, right? That's just a softer way of waking you up. Now, when you're not waking up from that, that's what we call the rude awakening where it goes from a whisper a gently touch on your shoulder to just uh you know a, an aggressive shocking way of waking you up like hey wake up something's happening we got to go somewhere those that's another way of of you waking up out of your sleep or out of a slumber um so Basically, we all have a decision to make on how we want to wake up, okay? The awakening is happening. The awakening. What I mean by the awakening is that, in general, truth is at such a high point right now, and it's only getting more easily to be accessed than it's ever been in the history of humankind. Um, why do I say that? Because we have devices, we have technology 
and access to information that we didn't have access to before uh, in any other time in history. So <laughs> it's going to be, <laughs> the Spirit is telling me like, just like in the Bible where, uh, or I should say the scriptures, where he's talking about how he's not going to, nobody, no man is going to be without excuse um, to know the truth. And that's a, that's a, that can be either a scary thought or uh, you could allow that thought to sober you up. That you just don't know everything and you don't know what's important and you don't know what's not important until the Ruach, the Holy Spirit, puts it on your attention or on your radar, okay? So we all have this choice to be awakened. And we all have a choice on how we want to be awakened. Um... It's happening without any of our consent. It's it's not up to us to be to be awakened. Uh, that's what <laughs> a rude awakening is. That's why it's so rude because it wasn't our decision to be woke up. Um, so I want to talk about Yahuwah's mercy. I just want to touch on that. Um, it has an expiration date. All right, Yahuwah's mercy has an expiration date to those who continue to sleep. Like you, you're getting woken up and you're like, leave me alone, just let me go back to sleep. It's comfortable, it's warm, this bed is warm, it's cold outside. I know for a fact that the Ruach is, is uh, quietly whispering in the ears of all the inhabitants of this great earth that we live in. But like always, it's a choice. It's a choice to, to heed his voice. So I'm gonna end it on that. Kept it short, somewhat. Uh, you know, like always, follow the truth, hear the truth. And let it set you free. Shalom.